Yeah, yo, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert and Prometheus Pro Bodybuilder with Prometheus HRT, the world's best testosterone and hormone replacement clinic. Use my code SPARTAN to save on either testosterone or HGH replacement therapy. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the beauty hormone. That's right, the beauty hormone, HGH, human growth hormone, and everything you needed to know on it. So, Guys, the past couple days we've been doing a series on the true power of HGH, talking about the maraud of different effects, amazing effects caused by HGH in the human body. However, guys, uh, I want to take us even deeper, make this series even bigger and better, you know, if possible, and talk about why HGH is known as the beauty hormone and why it fits this description literally perfectly. So let's get into it, talk about HGH as you've never heard it before in this context. Let's go. So the beauty hormone, HGH, human growth hormone. Why is it known as the beauty hormone and why are there anti-aging clinics popping up everywhere, literally everywhere? First effect, and we're going to go through these in different orders, so try and uh, keep up with it. Try and keep up with us. Here we go. So the biggest major driver effect and arguably the most notable is fat loss. Number one, fat loss. So HGH, human growth hormone, the major driver that you're going to see with HGH is fat loss. Why? When HGH is released from the pituitary gland in pulses or uh, taken exogenously as synthetic HGH, what's going to happen is, is that the HGH, the human growth hormone, is going to travel systemically through the body binding on to fat cells, right onto that HGH receptor, and that's gonna make the fat cells, that's right, release fatty acids, boom, into the bloodstream, which then can be used by the body for fuel, right? So in studies, when participants, when people were uh, had a controlled diet, same diet, same weight training, uh, same exercise schedule, same everything, but the people were receiving HGH and the people, some people were not receiving HGH. They found the people, uh, and guys, again, they're doing absolutely everything the same. They found that the people that were receiving HGH injections dropped 50% more fat. They burned 50%, 50 about 50% more fat. It's an awesome medical study. I will have to do that in a different video. So what does this mean? Even with everything the same, nutrition, training, diet, lifestyle, what happens? If HGH levels are higher, you're going to be way, way leaner, 50% leaner. Uh, you know, we can argue on uh, some of the statistics, but, um, you know, based on whatever study we're looking at. But the bottom line is, is that if your HGH levels are higher, you're going to be way leaner, way more lean, uh, whether you're bulking, whether you're dieting, no matter what you're doing. So, why is HGH known as a beauty hormone? The first thing is fat loss. Fat loss is the biggest or arguably uh, noted as the biggest uh, visible effect with human growth hormone. But we'll see. Well, let's compare it to some of these other things. So uh, fat loss, major driver. I want to add this on as a tack on. You're going to gain a little bit of muscle, a little bit of muscle mass uh, from HGH. It's not going to be much, not like testosterone, but you're going to gain a little bit of muscle alongside that. So Let's go further down the hole and address the beauty hormone HGH. So skin, this cannot be argued enough. This is huge. And this really is the true power of HGH, the wonder hormone. You know, you can call it HGH if you want. I think it's a terrible name. I think it should be called the life hormone. Uh, you can call it the beauty hormone, whatever you want. But why? Skin, the effect of HGH on skin. When you're a healthy 18 year old, uh, go watch my other video. Again, my other videos on this. But if you're healthy, 18 year old, good genetics, your HGH level is going to be peaking at about a whopping 400, and this is measured in nanograms per milliliter in IGF-1. Okay, so what's going to happen if you have high HGH levels? Skin, your skin is going to be be what? It's going to be newer. Why? Because skin cells are being replaced at a much more rapid rate. But what does this mean? Newer skin cells, which mean like huge reduction in wrinkles, if any. So new skin cells, so newer skin, no wrinkles. You lose wrinkles because that's just what happens when you're replacing skin cells. And also your skin's gonna be much more elastic. It's gonna look nicer, be newer. 
You're just going to look younger in general. You're going to look better. And this is the amazing power of HGH, human growth hormone. I notice myself when I am doing my doctor prescribed, again, through Prometheus HRT, when I'm doing HGH replacement, bumping you right back up to the top of the range. And they do this, you know, you have the option of doing either synthetic HGH or using uh, growth hormone, powerful growth hormone releasing peptides. Again, watch my other videos on this. But when HGH is, is you know, put right back to where you were when you were, you know, 18 at your peak, what's going to happen is your skin, again, newer, it's going to look way nicer because it's newer. <laughs> it's going to be more elastic and you're just going to be a lot more radiant. And it really is. This is one of the biggest things with HGH usage in general. So skin, skin is huge. Um, you know, you, I cannot stress this enough. Uh, I've seen people who started using HGH who hadn't used HGH before. Uh, um, HGH replacement therapy, again, you can do peptides, which are, you know, more natural if you're younger or if you're older and your pituitary is not working as well, then you can do synthetic HGH. So skin, huge, nicer, newer skin. You look better, you look younger. Who doesn't want to look better and look younger, okay? Again, you're replacing the skin cells faster. Okay, we nailed that. Next point, hair, hair. I notice for myself personally, guys, and this is, this, this is, this is scientifically proven, but I want to just give you my personal experience. If I am doing HGH replacement therapy, like I am right now, I need to get my hair cut more often. Why? It grows way faster. So not just does your hair grow faster, but what does that mean? It's going to go fat, grow faster. It's going to grow longer. It's going to look nicer because it's newer. Uh, and again, this is a, just another reason why HGH is what? The beauty hormone. Moving on. So nails, skin, hair, nails, fat loss, a little bit of muscle gain. What else could you want, right? Uh, nails. I noticed again, you know, myself personally, this is already proven scientifically. Your nails are going to grow faster, okay? You're going to have greater uh, calcium increase, uh, you know, well, systemically. HGH can be used as a treatment. Uh, I don't remember if it's on label or off label, uh, you know, depending on what country you live in, but it can be used for to combat osteoporosis, okay? Uh, greater calcium synthesis. And what does this mean? Your nails are going to grow faster and also look nicer. Why? Because they're newer. Man, isn't this easy, right? Moving on. So, eyesight. Eyesight needs to be noted. Why? Why? Now, I could not really find much information on this, unfortunately. I want to give you guys more information on this. But I'm going to give you my personal experience, and then I'm going to tell you scientifically what we know. Again, this is free of HGH studies, but let's go. My personal experience, and I started noticing this on accident. When I was doing, when I'm doing uh, HGH replacement therapy, you know, through Prometheus, but you can go to any good advanced hormone replacement clinic and they should have this option. But when I'm doing HGH replacement therapy, I notice that, guess what? My eyesight is sharper. I'm able to see, uh, I'm able to, uh, cause I'm a little bit nearsighted. I'm able to have better vision in general. Okay. My eyesight is sharper. Now this doesn't make any sense until recently, in I believe the past 10 years, guess what they found out? Your body can regrow rod and cone cells in your eyes. What? What? I am so thankful for this. Why? Because when I was a little kid, I remember looking at the sun all the time and getting yelled at by my parents. But the, the bottom line, guys, is that your eyes, the cells in your eyes can regenerate. What? So what does this mean? If you have high HGH levels, again, at the top of the range, the rod and cone cells, whatever ones are damaged, are being replaced. So, which means that your eyesight uh, is going to get sharper and better on HGH. And again, I noticed this first on accident uh, a few years ago. Um, moving on to the last point. I want to add this on. We already addressed why HGH is the beauty hormone, but I want to wrap this up. This is kind of an added, added uh, bonus, add-on. It's a feel-good hormone. What does this mean? And this ties in with sleep, too. If you have high... Okay. I already addressed that if you're 18 years old, good genetics, you got an HGH level clocking about 400 nanograms per deciliter measured in IGF-1, right? Well, if they're at 400 versus 200, if you're at 400, you're going to feel happy-go-lucky, yay, you know, like a little kid again, you're going to feel better in general, you're going to have more energy, feel better, you have, you have a better mood, and also you sleep a lot better if you have higher HGH levels. This is, you know, this is proven without a doubt. You can look up HGH sleep studies. 
more time spent in both REM and also deep sleep stage stages. So what does this mean? You feel better. And I think all of us can remember how we slept as uh, teenagers, but it's nice to be able to sleep like that all the time. So again, talk to the physicians at Prometheus HRT if you want to do this. Uh, you know, you can either do it before bed or earlier in the day, depending on if you're going with synthetic HGH or HGH releasing peptides. You know, what I do personally is I'm doing HGH rele powerful HGH releasing peptides, Ipamorelin uh, and CJC NODAC combo. That's what I'm getting, you know, pharmaceutical grade, prescription grade through Prometheus HRT. Uh, just because my pituitary is still working. Now, if you're older and your pituitary is not working as good, you might have to do synthetic HGH, which is going to be a lot more costly. And, you know, we'll talk about this in another video, but that's, you know, if that's something you want to do, you know, go ahead and apply it. Prometheus HRT should only take you like 15 minutes. And guys, here's the bottom line. Here's the kicker. With HGH and the beauty hormone, right? I'm going to call it the beauty hormone for the rest of this video. What is the kicker? What is what is the bottom line? The bottom line is this: is is that even if you decide, or even if you're, you know, you live in a country where HGH is legal, there's a lot of countries you can walk and buy HGH, or you know, peptides or whatever else you're doing. Uh, but at Prometheus HRT, they add stabilizing agents to those peptides, so they don't degrade immediately. Like you know, most other peptide websites, they don't add stabilizing agents; they're expensive. Uh, point aside: if you do HGH, you're going to have these benefits. Okay. And you want to be aiming for, again, what I said was 400. And, you know, personally, guys, I am just telling you that HGH replacement therapy is literally awesome. You can get all the positives without the negatives uh, of, you know, HGH abuse, which would be add on to, you know, you can pre-diabetes or, you know, you're at a risk, high risk of diabetes and also uh, cancer growth if you push HGH, you know, through the roof, if you're abusing HGH. Uh, but again, you can get all the positives without the negatives. Um, and guys, it doesn't really matter what clinic you go to. You know, obviously, if you go to my clinic, uh, it's going to, you know, that's that, you know, I know it's one of the best clinics, but there are other good clinics that you can go to get human growth hormone, either synthetic or uh, um, powerful HGH peptides. But if you're younger, uh, you really want what it's a better option uh, to stimulate and double your own natural HGH production versus having to shut shut down your natural production and use synthetic HGH. All right, gave you guys more information than they needed to. Seth Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy, keep submitting your questions, and we are out of here.